what are you doing in my swamp? Hello everybody, this is Overboy and I'm going to be doing my review for the 2009 movie Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. Um, so this is the sequel to the 2007 movie and takes place two years after the first movie and in this movie Sam Witwicky is trying to move on from the Transformers and go to college and as just start his life and everything. He doesn't really want to be involved in the war with Autobots and stuff anymore, and he get, ends up getting brought back in and uh, having to help them stop uh, a Decepticon named The Fallen, who is uh, trying to uh, get revenge on Earth by finding and activating a machine that uh, would. Uh, destroy the sun and all life on earth in the process um, so I actually enjoy this movie quite a bit I know a lot of people absolutely hate it and I, I can get it 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 isn't extremely great and part of it is kind of it's a, a so bad it's good type movie too because it, it is really poorly written and stuff but uh, I still enjoy it. I think the special effects are still really good. There's a lot of really good practical effects and sets and stuff and everything. I like the cinematography and stuff in here is really good and everything, especially the stuff in Egypt. Like, like they, they got some really beautiful shots of Egypt and different places that they filmed and everything. So I like the, like the globe trotting adventure stuff from this movie. Um, and everything and I think the cast are all still pretty decent in here uh, this was before it kind of started getting tired of making these movies and stuff but I think the cast was fine and everything but there are some new characters in here that are really annoying especially Skid and Mudflap who are the like these racist stereotypical characters that are added in here for comic relief and they're just really annoying and stuff and their voices are annoying and uh, they have this stereotypical uh, voices of black people and it just it's really really dumb and also the character Leo who is Sam's roommate at college and stuff who gets dragged into the adventure and stuff is really really annoying he's like the like he reminds me of Franklin from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom like he's just there to scream like a little girl and be really really annoying and I, I couldn't stand him either and there's even a part where uh, John Chitoro's character uh, tasers him and stuff because he's being annoying and everything I was like thank you now maybe he'll shut up for a few minutes but now I get he's scared because of the situation he's in and I probably would be too but the way it's executed is just really annoying it's meant to be funny but it's really not um, and there's a lot of other things in here that are supposed to be funny but they end up being just really cringy like uh, Willie humping Michaela's leg it was really really dumb and everything when I was a teenager I thought it was hilarious but rewatching it now is just really cringy and stupid and uh, the thing with the the robot scrotum when he, he's uh, John Turturro's character is like I'm right by, right under the robot scrotum or something like that. It's really stupid. It's like why in the world do we even need that in this movie? Like just really really dumb and everything. Like there there's a lot of sexual jokes and innuendos and stuff in this movie and some most of them are really really cringy and haven't aged very well and once again the women in this movie are over sexualized especially uh megan fox uh, like like he well, but you expect that from michael bay that's one of his trademarks is over sexualized women in his movies and this one she's not as over sexualized as she was in the first one but she still is uh, she's not it doesn't seem like it's as bad though as the other character that was introduced in this movie uh, 
I think her name was Lucy. She's played by uh, Isabel Lucas and everything. She's a girl that that turns out to be a Decepticon that uh, that Sam meets at, at college and stuff. And it it was a pretty bad. It was pretty bad the way they they did her too. Everything is just kind of annoying and everything. Like I, I get they're supposed to be good-looking people and stuff, but there there was no need to over-sexualize them the way they did. No, but aside from that, I, I do find the movie to be fun. And Optimus Prime's death and stuff was was when I saw it the first time, it was really emotional, but. Rewatching and stuff, knowing that he's gonna be back by the end of the movie and stuff, uh, kind of ruins it. It just was, uh, it's not, it doesn't have that emotional impact anymore and everything. And it just, but I didn't think he was gonna stay dead anyway. And then you get the fake out death with Sam and everything, like he was actually gonna stay dead either, because I knew Shia LaBeouf was at least gonna do two more movies when. Uh, after the first movie so I was like yeah he ain't gonna stay dead they ain't gonna kill off the main character this soon in the series and everything but uh, it, it was it was a good moment but it wasn't really really anything special you get that with all these movies where there's some kind of fake out death at some point in the movie um, at least the first first two I think there was one in the third one but I, I don't remember that movie very well to be honest I've only seen the third one once but this one and the first are the two that I've seen the most and I really enjoy a lot of stuff about it though like I said the, the globe trotting aspect is a lot of fun and everything and they have a lot of really good practical sets and stuff and like seeing the the uh, explosions and stuff it, it's kind of fun but it gets old after a while too because they, they repeat it the action scenes over and over again it's like like I, I get that this movie was made during the writer strike and stuff back in the 2008 or 2009 whenever this was being made but uh, it just it, it could have been handled a little bit better but they did the best that they could with what they had to work with but personally I think this one probably should have been delayed a year and maybe it would have been a little bit better written if they had taken more time to it after the writer's strike was over but for what it is I, I think it's a fun movie I, I do think that the fallen is a okay villain but he, he's kind of weak but I do think that it's cool that uh, you got Tony Todd doing his voice because I love Tony Todd um, but it's just just a okay movie it's not anything super special just like with the first one but I do have a lot of fun with it and everything even though I get a lot of the criticisms and stuff it it's just one of those movies that if you want to just have fun turn your brain off and enjoy things exploding and robots fighting and stuff it, it's fun for that and everything it's not anything deep or special like like all the movies in this franchise but I find it to be a lot of fun once again I don't think the movie needed to be two and a half hours long though it, it could have been trimmed down at least maybe 30 40 minutes or so but it it is what it is it's still an entertaining movie and I, I enjoy it for what it is so I'd say I'd give Transformers Revenge of the Fall on a 7.5 out of 10 um, I would give it an 8, but there's too much cringiness in this movie. Like, like I said, a lot of the dialogue and stuff is really cringy, especially stuff with Sam and Michaela in their little dumb subplot of wanting to tell each other they love each other, but they're, neither one of them is willing to say it first. It's really stupid and really, really cringy and everything. But um, anyway, let me know in the comments what you think of this movie, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and have a good day, everybody.